Okay, so this is a handover video uh, for an auto sleeper Nuevo. So basically, it's an instructional video, not sales. Um, so yeah, please subscribe. Forgot to ask that bit. If you like our videos, please subscribe and follow. If you don't, give me a suggestion how I can make them better. Um, but yeah, so here we go. Uh, 2004 uh, auto sleeper Nuevo. Um, your gas locker. Bit of a hinge there so your little regulators up there your gas pipes down there connect that up away you go this is your um, hot water exhaust outlet so that cover does need to be off when in use so basically take it off when you go away put it off when you get back home it doesn't need to be put on and off all the time but it is just to stop the exhaust filling up with sort of spiders cobwebs maybe leaves and then catching fire uh, this is your 240 volts electric outlet that will be replaced I'll have a new one on it um, the little flap goes in there remember push the little button right handed to pull your 240 volts out down here that is your waste water outlet so that's your grey waste it's going to let your shower sink obviously no toilet waste because that's there so with these toilets guys make sure they're not filled over the top otherwise when you pull that out it all goes everywhere which is a catastrophe which will only happen once hopefully never um, but yeah, to drag these off to a um, suitable emptying point, unscrew this, get it tipped, press that little button down at the back there when you're tipping to allow air in and liquids out. So cassette, this is your flush. So you can put pink in there and make the bowl smell all lovely when you flush it. Bike rack on the back, I'm sure you can work out how to operate those. Um, step on this one is manual, so you can shut it with your foot not very easy when you're already inside the van but there you go your door does have a catch on it there's your little retainer proper clip fresh water in there and that is your fresh water emptying point so when you want to empty it for winter that's what you do the canopies up there the handles inside now when you put in the canopy down, uh, wind them out as short a distance as you can till you can reach the legs and put the legs down, give it some support. Then you can wind it out and step the legs out as you go. Don't wind it all the way out in one go or you're putting a lot of pressure on the side of the van where it's attached. Um, so, single electric burner on these as well as your three gas. That is mains, it will not work unless your van is plugged into electric hookup. I feel amazing I've actually got to say that but not everybody <laughs> realizes that um, moving around to your fridge now these are a freeway fridge the little catch operates like so and there are two holes there so that you can actually lock the fridge ever so slightly open allowing it to breathe when not in use to help stop it going moldy so that's your uh, 12 volts on and off that's your mains on and off that's your, your temperature setting. Over on this side, we've got your gas. So you'd flick that on, it would start clicking away. Turn that and hold it in. It would stop clicking when it's lit. You can turn that off then when it's lit and that is still on gas. It's not off gas until you turn that off. There's your temperature. So, heating. So it's gas and electric on this, there's your your gas, you turn that round, hold it down, in fact you can hear that clicking away. There is a little spy hole there but very difficult to get your head at the right angle and see. You'll tend to know when it's lit, then it'll, well you can tell because that's still clicking. On this side is your blown air, so that'll make, make this hot. If you want to use the blown air, you turn it on on this side, automatic or manual and you adjust the fan speed like so now that will blow hot air out of this little hole down here uh, there's another one in the bathroom just there so your bathroom will be nice and warm too um, th that won't be as hot because you're pulling heat off the back of it uh, and it's blowing all around the van now you can also use this on 240 volts again it'll only work when you are plugged in so that's 500 watts, that's one kilowatt, that's two kilowatts. Effectively, it's like one, two or three bars on an electric fire. 
So if it's really cold, put the gas and the electric on. And then once you've got it up to temperature, you can turn the gas off and just run it on the electric. It takes a little while to get up to temperature electric, as you can imagine, a bit like three bars on a, on a fire. Um, that will run your, like a thermostat, um, will run your, your electric temperature. Still use the blown air with that if you want to. This is your hot water. So you're selecting your temperature of the hot water there. Most of a shower around about 40 degrees, that would mean it's pulling all the hot water off and not blending it with cold. So you, you certainly want to be 40 degrees if you're just heating up for a bowl of washing up water. That's on, that's off, simple as that. So uh, we've also got and a few switches there so that is your vehicle battery that will run everything on your hub battery obviously you want to be running on your hub battery your leisure that is your water pump on uh, sorry no that is your master switch on that's your water pump on and that's your lights so in here we've got some trip switches for your mains so if you've got uh, problem with any of your electrics going off have a check in there you've also got a master switch for your 240 volts hot water and your 240 volts heating uh, you've also got your table in there so magically that uh, that seat is now up and what you'll find down here is this little yellow switch so we've shown you how to empty the cold water out of the uh, other fresh water tank this is how to empty the hot water tank um, so you'll pop that up you can actually hear that water flow in there but that lets the water that is at the bottom of this cupboard behind the fire out of the boiler and dumps it out the bottom of the van so draining down for winter that needs to be vertical facing up let the water out a lot of people forget to put that back which means when they fill the van with water in spring turn the water pump on it pumps into the boiler and straight out the bottom of the van uh, and often folk get a bit of a panic on then so try not to um, that's that down now I think I've covered everything um, your blinds on this very simple clip together um, I don't really think there's much else to go through um, your toilets flush at the top and there is a little indicator there for when the toilet reaches full and the blade to open it so that when you go to the loo it drops down and the cassette is on that lever just there um, but yeah there you go uh, enjoy your van any problems with uh, operational stuff do give us a shout